And as um, I think it was Brett's uh, hostess's buddy, Fred, the antique guy, called it. And uh, it's still there. They kept talking about building a um, bird marsh there. And then they talked about building a hotel there. And for a while, those were cheap because, you know, you couldn't get rid of it. You had to leave. You had to move out and find a place for it. It wouldn't be anywhere near the ocean, I'm sure. But whoever bought them and decided to stick it out got lucky and got a piece of uh, paradise, I guess, here, being right on the bay. And there's camp land out there where I used to live in my fifth wheel years ago. Yep. There's not a lot of options for camping besides the streets in uh, San Diego. There, it's pretty expensive to stay there. I think it's still like 40 or 50 bucks a night at least for just the space for your, to park your rig. Probably still better than a hotel though because you got the beach right there. You had to pay 200 bucks a night for a hotel that was on the water or close to it, that close to it. Those big white apartments out there that are still there from years ago. They used to be avocado green. <laughs> yep, and Crown Point and Ski Beach and then there's the radar beacon thing that looks like a missile out in the middle of uh, the water. It's been there forever. It's like a rocket. Bester Island. I actually like this better than I do the rest of San Diego anymore. It's kind of got its own unique um, personality to it and it's free land. Most of the time, sometimes every other event, every other jogathon comes along and they shut the island. But that's okay too, whatever. At least it's open most of the time. I guess if it were less restricted, you would have uh, everybody living in their RV out here. It'd be like a squatter's heaven. They could already stay out here during the day. It's already just right because people can stay, have the freedom to stay here all day, sleep during the day, you know. If you're a, um, camping in your rig, living in your car, sleep here during the day, get up at night and cruise around somewhere or move to a different spot. There's even porta potties out here. Actually, probably enjoyed the Fiesta Island part of the trip better than anything. It's weird. Ski Beach is nice too, though. Ski Beach is still pretty empty over there. The rest of it, though, some of these parks are super crowded, even during the week.